Okay, now let's talk about the conditional statement. Conditional statement is also called if then statement. It is to decide whether a to see whether a condition is satisfied. And if it's satisfied, then what we do? Uh, what would you want the, the code to do for us? And if the condition is not satisfied, like what do we do? Okay. So this is the conditional steps. Take a look at this very simple program. We assume that we said x is 5, and we want to check if x is smaller than 10, which is true. Then we print out something like smaller. Okay. Then we check if x is greater than 20. And if it's true, we print out bigger. Okay. Then in the end, we print out should be finished, but it's finished. Okay. Then what's the output of this program? The output of this program will be smaller and finished. So only this statement prints smaller and the final statement print finished. The only two, these only two statements are being executed. But the print bigger is not executed. The reason is that x is not greater than 20. But how do we know this? The conditional steps, this flowchart, can show us very clearly. So first, x is 5. Is x smaller than 10? Then yes. Okay, you print out this. Then we go to the next. Remember, the next condition here is it, it is uh, indentation is the same as the uh, previous condition. And we have four blanks here after a condition. A statement has four blanks before it and is going to the right hand side compared to the condition. Because these two conditions are at the 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 their their importance are the same. So we, we first check if the x is smaller than ten. Then we check if x is greater than twenty. So there, actually here uh, I think the indentation got something wrong because it should be uh, they they should be the same. Let me uh, please give me give me one minute. Let's just uh, yeah, it should be it should be like this, and here it should be like this. And let me finish. Okay. So these statements are only ex executed when the conditions are satisfied. So here, when x is smaller than 10, this condition is satisfied, then we execute it, execute this statement. But here, it's not. X is not greater than 20. So we directly go from the condition to the next statement. Okay, not the statement that is belong that belongs to the the that is under the, the, the condition. So how do we do the comparison? Okay, this is a smaller sign, this is a greater sign. We have smaller, smaller than or equal to and we use a double equal sign to indicate equal to. So if we want to check if x is 5, then we say x equal equal 5. The reason is that the, the, the single equal sign is a value assignment sign. Okay. That this is a greater than equal sign. This is greater than. And here it's a not equal sign. Remember, this is a not equal sign. Not equal sign in sign is represented by exclamation, exclamation mark, plus a equal sign. Okay, so this means not equal to something. 
any state, any condition after the if is a Boolean expression. So this will have to be true or false. Okay, true or false. So here, this is true. This is false. So eventually, this is if false, if true, print bigger. But this is false, so it doesn't print bigger. Boolean expressions use comparison operators uh, and comparison operators to look at the variables, but do not change the variables. Okay. Um, here, if x is equal to five, x is assigned value five, and what will these ev the statements eventually bring out? If x is equal to 5, yes, so it will print out, equals 5. If x is greater than 4, yes, this is true. So greater than 4 will be printed out. x is greater than or equal to 5, yes, this is this, this condition is true. So this statement greater than or equal to 5 will be printed out. If x is smaller than 6, yes, 5 is smaller than 6, print out. Uh, so you see, like sometimes if this is very short, you can you can you can write the print with the same line of um, in the same line of if condition. But I suggest you not to do so, because that will make the statement uh, conditional statement look less clear. If x is smaller than or equal to five, which is true, then we print out this. And x five as five is not equal to six, so not equal six will be printed out. Therefore, all of the statements under the conditions will be printed out. Um, this is a one-way decision here. If x is assigned the value f of five, then we print we actually first print before five. So this statement will be printed out no matter what, because see, like it doesn't have a condition before it above it. So if x is greater than 5, we print it out these three things. We do these three different statements. But since the condition is satisfied, all of the three statements will be executed. So all of them will be printed out. <coughs> and these two print out statements will be executed no matter what because they don't have a conditional. They have conditions um, above them. So these will be printed out no matter what. If x is equal to 6, then print out this. But x is 5, it's not 6. So neither of them will be printed out. Okay. Um, after word 6, this statement, no matter what, is going to be printed out. So eventually we print out everything but these three statements. <coughs> we need to increase intent, indent after if statement, sorry, I, I just, uh, yeah. We need to increase indent after if statement or for statement. Okay, after the comment. Maintain intent to indicate that the scope of the block, for example, here, if we have several statements, to be executed, if the condition is satisfied, they have to have the same uh, indent. Reduce the indent if we go back to the level of the if statement or for statement. And blank lines can be ignored. Commands, comments on a line by themselves are ignored. Okay. So here, x is equal to 5, is assigned the value 5. And it should be smaller than p. Uh, I'm so sorry for the for the slides. <coughs> if x is greater than two, then the two statements will be printed, which is true, because um, because five is greater than two, and this one will be printed out no matter what. Okay. 
And this is the for loop, which we will uh, talk about in the future. Okay. And anything after the this sign is is a comment, which will not be executed. So here the um, when we when we see the code in our mental thought process, we should divide the code into three blocks. Here, the if condition and the statements below it can be regarded as the same as a separated block. So this will be. These two statements will be executed if the condition is satisfied, and they will not be executed if the condition is not satisfied. Nested decisions. Okay. That is a conditional statement under a conditional statement. For example, x is assigned the value 42. If x is greater than 1, then you do the following things. If x is 0, then nothing will be printed out here. Nothing will be done. Only the final statement, all done, will be printed out. Since x is 42 here, then x is obviously greater than 1, so these will be done. And since print more than 1 is printed out if when the condition is satisfied, we check the nested condition if x is smaller than 100, which is also true, so this second statement will also be printed out, will be executed, and the final one will be printed. So first, it checks whether x is greater than 1. If no, then we directly go to the end. If it's yes, then we do something, which is a print. And then we check another decision, uh, another condition, x is smaller than 100. If it's no, then we directly go to the end. If it's yes, then we do another, we execute another statement, then we go to the end. Okay, this is the flow chart. Okay, this part represents this nested condition decisions. And this part, the, 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 the whole part here, is the whole decision process. Two-way decisions. Here we only have the if x is greater than 1. If, it, if x is not greater than 1, we directly go to the end and uh, it totally ignore all the statements of, uh, uh, below here, below the condition. But we can also have the two-way decisions, which is if-else. Okay. Here x is assign the value 4 and we check whether x is greater than 2. If it's yes, then we do something bigger, we print out bigger, then we go to the end. If it's not, which we will execute the statement under else, okay? So the else statement will be executed when the if condition is not satisfied. When this condition is returns a Boolean value false, then this print smaller will be executed. After executed, either statement here, either if or else. You can never satisfy both conditions because they are mutually exclusive. Then we go to the end and print out the last one, the, 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 the last statement that no matter what, it will be printed out. This part is represented, uh, uh, represented by uh, this part in this chart. There are also multi ways. If, L, if, and else. In some other programming languages, it's called else if, but here it's just the L if in Python. If x is smaller than 2, when it's yes, you print out small. When it's not, and when it's yes, it's, you, when the condition is satisfied, you print small, then you go to the end. Okay, You ignore all of the other. Um, the other conditions and uh, and statements below them. If it's not, then you check if x is smaller than 10. Okay, if it's yes, you print medium. Then you go to the end. 
You put in the medium, then you go to the end. If it's not, then you go to the else. So you have two conditions here. If neither of them is satisfied, you go to the else statement and print out large. Then you go to the final statement and we'll be printed out no matter what. Okay. So this is a, this is a multi-way conditional statement. And see, if it's zero assigned to x, so let's check if x is smaller than 2, which is true. So we print out small, then we go to the end. And we only print out print small and print all done. Okay, so that's why here the color is being colored. If it's 5, then we go to is x smaller than 2? No. So we do not execute print small. We directly go to the next one, the L if x is smaller than 10, which is true. The condition is satisfied. That's why we hear the, 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 the flow is colored. And this condition is satisfied, so we print medium. Then we go to all done. If it's 20, then neither conditions in the first two conditional state conditions are neither of them is satisfied, so we directly go to the else statement, which is print large, okay, and print all done. <coughs> we can also do no else. So no else is like else plus, okay. So you just totally ignore the other, you do not do anything, do nothing. Uh, if the two statements are not satisfied. For example, x is equal to 5, then x is smaller than 2, no, not true. L if x is smaller than 10, which is true. So you print out medium and then print it all done. Okay. You can also do a, a make a lot of uh, multiple L if to categorize uh, the the uh, conditions into different subcategories and check one by one. Multi-way puzzles, which will never print. Okay. If x is smaller than two, you print below two. If x is greater than or equal to two, you print two or more. And else, print something else. This part will never be printed. This statement will never be executed because for any number, well, um, we shouldn't say this. For any real number, complex number or other things, if x is a real number, then the real number must be smaller than 2 or greater than or equal to 2. So either of them will be executed. So the whole flowchart will never go to the else statement. Here, if x is smaller than 2, and the second condition is smaller than 20, and the second condition is smaller than 10, um, which one will not be printed? This one. Why is that? Because the x smaller than 20 is, 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 is the scope is greater than the condition x smaller than 10. Because this is before x smaller than 10. For any value that is smaller than 10, it will be smaller than 20. So before this, for any value that makes x smaller than 10, this condition satisfied, it must make the above condition x smaller than 20 satisfied. So this will be printed out, then directly go to the end. And this will not be printed out. For any value, for this else statement, if any value of x is greater than 20, then neither of the three statements will be printed out, so it will go to the else. So it's something else. It's still possible to be printed out. So let's do some summary. 
we have some comparison operators and uh, we also have the logical operators and or not and or not uh, I don't think we have a slide for this let me show you um, um, X is 554 okay um, if X is smaller than 60 print which is true right and if it's greater than smaller then you do, do nothing so nothing will be printed if I want to say if I want to see whether X is between 10 and 60 what do I do so between 10 and 60 you should make X greater than 10 and also X smaller than 60 right but how do we connect them you can do this Why is that? Because hey, this is essentially a Boolean value. Okay, this conditional expression is a Boolean value. So and we'll just return true and true, which will give you true. If true and false, will give you false. So let's take x is seventy. And x greater than 10 is true, but x is smaller than 60 is false. So if you ex try to execute this condition, you will print out nothing. You want to see if x is greater than 100 or a negative. What do you, what do, you do? You do if x is greater than 100 or x is negative you just print yes just something okay you don't print anything because here x is 70 is not greater than 100 and it's not negative what if x is 101 It's going to be yes. What if x is minus 50? It's going to be yes. Okay. If you also want to check not, um, you can also, for example, the, 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 the above can be right as, is it a positive or zero? And you do not positive or zero. Yes, these two are equivalent because x is greater than or equal to zero is false because here x is assigned the value of minus 50. Okay, and not false is true. Here, x greater than 100 is false but false or true false or true is true false or true is true that's why yes the print yes statement is executed okay um, we also learned one way, two way nested, which is a conditional statement in a conditional statement, and multiple, multi way decisions using LIF. We can use multiple LIFs. Okay. This is the end of uh, conditional statement or if then statement. Next video, we will talk about the for loop.